Hi everyone, Debbie here. Jack Aranda Insights for Thursday the 8th of December 2022. First card is a Major Arcana, so Amplified Meaning, and it's number 13 of the Major Arcana story, Death. So it's not meaning that somebody's going to die, but it is the death of something. It's the death of where we're at at this particular point. A lot of people through the pandemic, we really were in fear because it was the first time that we didn't have a regular job to go to. We didn't have a regular income. We were perhaps told, you know, you might not be working here if it's a cafe, it might be closing down. All these what if, what if, what ifs. So to me, the death of something is pretty well at that point where it's a natural ending. To me, if it was upright, it would be like a bulldozer coming through. To me, when it's in reverse, it's like you are having a say in the death of something old, the death of an attitude, the death of a direction, the death of how you keep staying in there when you should be leaving, <laughs> those sort of things. So the death of a organic thing. So traditional things are not going to be gone down and used as a way or a method or a technique to fix it, just put a band-aid on it, no more. So traditional ways are gone. The, the family unit, I think, that this horse coming through here, this white divine horse would miss this little couple of this child and his mum. So families have come back into being more vogue. It's like spend time with the human being instead of at work doing mechanical things and making something for somebody else to make money from. So to me, that is a really great card. The full moon in Gemini with Gemini with its busy mind and they can sort of do three jobs at once Gemini. So there's lots of um, imaginations, uh, there's a lot of thoughts, there's a lot of oomph because Mars is in retrograde so that's the planet of war and desire and passion. So they're looking inward, so they're always busy people anyway, so they're looking inward. Then you've got this busy mind of Gemini adding to all of these facets of what I should do, what I should end and what I should begin. Because then the next card really does sum it up in saying that this is the student and the pupil of life. The pentacle is how we manage and function in our lifetime. The pentacle, I mean the page is the learner driver, the student. Here we are, back around, coming back around to decide which way, which avenue we're going down. We have a choice now. And if we come from the heart, the green of the heart chakra, we cannot go wrong. We're gonna have growth, we're gonna have beautiful rolling hills, and we're going to admire our life from a different point of view than having to just be mechanical and be like that Groundhog Day be like that hamster on the wheel. No, we don't want that anymore. We want a fruitful, enjoyable, joyous life. And the last card, Nine of Wands, our purpose and our mission and where we're needing to pick something from a wall and stick with it. If we try to do three things, uh, three occupations or careers at once, we're not gonna do one properly, are we? We're gonna sort of spread ourselves across the three. This one is saying that he's got a headache because there's been so many things really going through your mind that you would love to do. And now you are picking this one with the red of the outfit. So passion and drive, desire, creativity is the orange, the white underneath is the shirt. That's your spiritual suit, your spiritual cloth, clothing. It's, it's you, it's your part of this reason to pick that is for you to go ahead and become, cause the death of something, not come through and just have it happen. You're going to be the cause of it. You're going to be the catalyst and you want to be young and fresh and exuberant and excited again and you want to pick something and you want to run with it and you want to really love doing it. So that is what I'm getting from today's card. So the page is one, death, like I said, is 13. So there's 14 and nine is 23, two and three is five and five is freedom. Finding your personal freedom, everyone. 
have a lovely day. I just noticed I've got dirt under my fingernails from digging in the garden with the gardener there before. I'm doing lots and lots of work, getting this place up to scratch to do some workshops here next year. So I am changing, I am doing this. I am organically causing the death to an old part of chapter of my life, closing that door, closing that book and putting it down carefully and gently and saying thank you. You've given me some wonderful memories, but I'm ready to make some new ones. Have a lovely day, everyone.